But the last thing I want to play you guys, um, and we touched on this last uh, show, Hairline and I did, but um, this is nasty, at this is nasty, Alfred Kanua, who will be on the show next week, folks. But here's his 45-second bit on just basically AEW in a nutshell right now, and we covered Kenny Omega trashing AEW uh, last week. I'm sure there's a clip of it, but at pro wrestling bits go subscribe here is uh this is nasty's take on all of this stuff and then get your flutes because we are going to jump into the dave Meltzer dumb moment of the week here we don't have the volume all the volumes are turned down i, I botched <laughs> here we go guys but he's jumped the fucking shark so it doesn't count for much anymore he has jumped the motherfucking shark and guess who has who is to blame for that me Kenny sounds like me. Listen to him describe Dave. That's like me on a drunken cab sav rant. But he's jumped the fucking shark, so it doesn't count for much anymore. He has jumped the motherfucking shark, and guess who has who is to blame for that? Me. I'm the guy. I broke this scale. It fucked up something in his brain where he doesn't real he doesn't even know what good matches anymore. He just like he, he's Kenny, you opened my mind to this weird fucking world of wrestling that I never saw before in my life. And I I think he just he can't he he doesn't understand it anymore. He stopped being able to understand. He can't comprehend what's going on. I showed I opened Pandora's box and it's just running rampant now. It, that's all it is. Right, really. And so what uh, Alfred had to say was AEW Dynamite pulled 672 with 0.23. I don't care about the demo. It's not favorable for AEW regardless. So it would help my case of going, look, guys, but I don't care about demo even. It's just the overall number, right? And we know it's inflated for AEW because of Big Bang, which has even taken a hit. Like people know this shit's coming on next and aren't watching Big Bang, it seems like. No, but like a young Cooper, young Sheldon. I've never seen a fucking single right. episode of that shit. It ended. Maybe that's why people are dipped. I don't fucking know. But either way, Alfred says uh, AEW Dynamite pulled 672 with a 023 uh, in the demo. Don't worry, Tony Khan. Once that Dave Meltzer star ratings angle starts heating up, all the women and young people will show up in droves for the payoff. And that's just it. You need women. You need young people. Yeah, sweaty dudes are dope, but we're everywhere. We're doing everything in the whole entire world. We're building the roads. We're building the roofs. We're hey, we're building the rocket ships. We're fucking going to wrestling shows. We're going to the bar. We're watching baseball. We're fucking doing everything. You need you need girls and you need kids. And then you're mainstream, bitch. That's what it boils the fuck down to. And shout out Alfred for that take. Guys. Um, you already know what time it is. We went long tonight. I didn't want to go this long, but you guys have been so awesome in the chat and everything. And you already know what time it is. You guys have been putting flutes in the chat because it's time for everybody's uh, favorite moment, everybody's favorite segment. It's time for Hairline's favorite segment. Yeah. yeah. It's time for Phil's favorite segment. Yeah. yeah. It's the segment that they duplicate but they cannot replicate, baby. It's time Boom. for Dave Meltzer's Dumb Moment of the Week. Ooh. Hairline, that flute is like a little bit off, more off key every week, I feel like. You know what I mean, dude? Every day, every week, it's like a little... Yeah. It's a little Way off. worse. Yeah, so here's some dumb Dave shit. This might be from a while ago. We're just going to play it and live react because that's what we do at PWT. So we're going to just live react right here. Fill it here. I mean, the rest of them. Here we go. Let's see what he has to say. Tony Khan is so freaking smart about uh <laughs> we're not even we're three seconds in folks there we go pro wrestling i mean the rest of them were just they didn't get pro wrestling at all they just thought it was a uh, easy money this guy he is really really smart i mean that's the one thing you know he's much smarter than like eric bischoff or chat <laughs> <laughs> tony's much smarter than eric bischoff um what how oh. Yeah, hairline. I don't even like Bischoff, and I'm saying how. 
and this is like from like two or two years ago i want to say three years ago so yeah here we go people like <laughs> i'm i'm speechless <laughs> pwt listeners i'm speechless well, not that, you know to diminish eric bischoff he built a company that was far more successful at its peak than than aew has ever been at its peak but still tony didn't have a hulk hogan he had chris jericho and kenny omega and people he just buried omega he just compared jera hogan and omega to hogan and then said oh they didn't have a hogan they had omega and jericho and like undermine them and we've been pointing it out on the show folks that's why you guys listen to pwt dave undermines these p the he undermines aew he does more damage to aew than he does good he's a dummy uh, again, <laughs> yeah. uh, i don't back bischoff but like i don't understand how tony's anywhere or any more successful than bischoff like but 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 he just said he's like well He's like, not to bury Eric, but Eric had Hogan, and Tony has Jericho and Omega. So it's not the same. Eric was bigger because it's not. It's like, did you just really bury Omega and Jericho like that? I don't know. Like, obviously, you can't compare them. Like, obviously, Hogan's way bigger than either of them combined. But it's just the fact that, and, and like, that is like a, like, it's realistic on his uh, standpoint or viewpoint but then it's like how don't you um like he gave the rock hulk hogan three and a half stars do you understand what i'm saying that's why it's like dave you're you're t he's just talking out of his ass here is all we're trying to get at guys everyone's a hypocrite everyone's told a lie this guy though is just is just for men's wearing out and that shit is <laughs> whatever's going on this formula ain't right lately dudes like that and back then too when he's trying to compare tony khan why would tony khan be smarter than bischoff like how could you even say that oh he has more money okay oh you read the forums so did i dave and you blocked me because you don't think my opinions are good and i read the forums too at but that's not the equivalent of hulk hogan rick flair randy savage roddy piper kevin nash scott hall it's right yeah it's so stupid so we just live reacted to that i didn't really know what to make of that but um we talked earlier in the show about tiffany stratton and this is what uh dave melter dr dave had to say about her um basically if this was someone who wasn't a star they'd be fired instantly so dave's claiming that tiffany would have been fired for that instagram post the black b word she didn't even say it it was a mistake you know and i don't even know like here's the thing how is that even like a sound on tiktok why is that even a thing then you know because like that's stupid i'm not i'm not hip melts are saying she'd have just been fired if it was anyone else lots of fans sent the video to on x to paul Levesque, so it was pretty significant because the people on x <laughs> i'm just happy that he's acknowledging that she's a superstar you know, but um, outside of that, uh, I think he sounds like a real dummy that uh, he actually knows Stratton better than Stratton knows Stratton. Uh, wait a minute. Do you think they'd fire anybody for doing that? Like, let's say... Uh... No, clickbait bullshit. So Dave Meltzer goes on to say what we talked about earlier, and this is via at AEW Disciplinary. Shout out Disciplinary Committee, man. Um, And he says not even noon yet, and Uncle Dave already has two L's today. It's a good day. Today was a good day. Ooh, uh, mm, mm. So at Wrestling Features say Dave Meltzer is reporting that next week's SmackDown is being taped tonight. This is not correct. Next week's SmackDown will take place in Saudi Arabia. So Dave's like, oh no, they're um, yep, actually, um, like whatever, um, yep, Dick Grayson, um, they're um yeah actually um brian yep tony khan yeah they're um taping smackdown tonight tony khan. <laughs> yeah but um but no dude it's in saudi arabia with the saudi crowd right. so dave's a fucking dummy yeah. and then dave Meltzer had reported that ivar wasn't actually injured but that doesn't seem to be the case it is currently known if we unknown if wesley or josh briggs were also injured blah 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 but it's confirmed Ivar will be out of action for an indefinite period of time. Well, that sucks. So, yeah, so both Viking Raiders yeah. and not Sarah Logan are injured. And Dave said that 
um oh batman I have it here. Where is it? He said that Ivar's not actually injured in that. Um, oh, oh, Batman. My, uh, yeah, I'm doing it right now because I don't have. You guys, I got to get the blue check. I have to sell out to Elon. So, Dave, I, okay, I had the clip. I fucking didn't bookmark it, you mother. I'm getting the, I'm getting the blue check, Hairline. He had a quote I wanted to read, and I lost it about fucking uh ivar being hurt and he was like well actually uh and, and i'm not even joking this isn't even a riff this isn't this isn't even a fucking bit he's like well actually uh ivar well you know whatever he's like <laughs> he he's like uh actually injured um but they won't say that you know uh wwe you know uh whatever they won't say that that's literally what the fuck he said, dude. Eddie Kingston suffered from what was believed to have been a broken leg on the 5-11 New Japan show in Ontario, California. In 5-13, they found out his leg was broken and had to change around Dynamite and the main event for AEW Double or Nothing. So this guy with a chicken leg, with a cast, smoking a blunt, they had to change the whole double or nothing. Isn't that their WrestleMania? Like, isn't that how they try to bill it? Like now all in is kind of their mania, but wasn't double or nothing like their marquee event. Yeah. Originally. Yeah. So double or nothing. The main event was Eddie Kingston that they had to rearrange according to Dave and Brian because Eddie broke his leg and they didn't even know. I didn't like, so are these hurt so i'm gonna have yeah, yeah like am i being like the i feel like awful right now but it's like this is fucking stupid as fuck a how didn't you know his leg was broken after one day they found out his leg was broken how didn't you know right after it happened and then like the main event for double or nothing's gonna have eddie in it <laughs> am i fucking being cynical here but like wait what like what is AEW not telling this shit's tra swerve's gonna defend against eddie you all love eddie right and you love swerve right we love everyone right it's great uh hairline would you book eddie kingston if you had the pen against who what do you mean in the main event uh, no what I think is absolutely stupid here, though, is like we're gonna rush Darby back, and then Darby's just gonna become more injured. You know what I'm saying? And now we have two injured superstars. You just transitioned us perfectly. Dave Meltzer on Darby yeah. Allen replacing Eddie Kingston in the Anarchy in the Arena match. This guy got hit by a bus. He went through the glass pain, the pain of glass, rather. How the fuck? Do I, it's stupid. Doesn't matter how I say it. And Dave says, um, there's so many um people there, um, and like whatever. It's um not like Darby, um, Alan, um, is um like you know, um, like um the rock <laughs> Batman. If he's limping still and he's not healed, he should not be doing this match. So even Dave criticizes it, but it's like Darby, and then you see the promo, his nose is all busted and fat, and he's all fucked up, and it's like what's going on in this fucking company airline what's happening here dude i told you dog they're they've entered the herb age abrams territory that's their era and so dave goes on to defend this shit he goes at Meltzer w-o-n says aew numbers not good even with the playoff competition 672.23 and then he says six behind only NBA and NHL. Six behind only five other things. <laughs> Have you guys ever ran a race and went, oh, I came in six behind <laughs> five no. motherfuckers? Yeah, it's just like, what? And he says, I don't think there was another first run entertainment show all day. Another first run entertainment show all day that top listen to the guys i work in the business it's all about how you fucking word things and dave just words things i don't think there was another first run entertainment show all day that topped whole point yeah because aew was probably the only one the only first run entertainment show like they just do these gross word things that I don't like. 
to try and uh, manipulate a narrative. Dave needs to shut the fuck up. This shit drives me insane, guys. You already know that. That's why we do this segment. So Dave Meltzer goes on to praise Brian Danielson, the guy that had a fucking seizure, and then he's just all of a sudden back. JD from NY stole my gimmick to fucking criticize this shit. Then he gave it back because he ain't really about that. Just kidding. No, JD, you're welcome anytime, dude. D- Dave Meltzer's high praise for Brian Danielson following AEW Dynamite. So after this guy should be like seizured out, never return again, hairline. He shows up. He's like, yeah, I'm, a, I'm on FTR's team. And Meltzer goes on to say he's a real glue in this company. A lot of guys are hurt <laughs> and everything. A lot of guys are hurt and everything. And he's a guy that every time you send him out there for a match or promo, he's going to deliver like Batman every time. He's popular, Dick Grayson. He can be a babyface or a heel. It's all situational. Whatever you need him to do, he can do and he will excel. Every time he's on TV, it's good. Dave, we know. Like, Dave, we know. We know Danielson can do a heel or he can do a babyface. We know. We know that. We know already that doesn't make anything what you're saying is that doesn't have to do with AEW. That doesn't have to do with anything. It just has to do with Daniel Bryan being a fucking great fucking pro wrestler, dude. <laughs> For decades, bro. We know. We already know that. We know, dude. So what the fuck are you even saying, dude? Like, give PWT 1299 and we'll be at fucking WrestleMania Vegas with an obnoxious sign. They're going to lose a lot when they lose him. So Dave's even predicting, saying they'll lose Daniel Bryan. He's yep. probably one of the two or three most valuable guys they have, I think, when they're going to lose him. So wasn't Tony going to hand the keys of the whole company over to Bryan? And now Dave, who knows both Bryan and Tony really well, is saying, Bryan, they're going to suffer when they lose when they do lose him. So Brian's going to leave after almost getting the keys, and that's who Tony thought he was going to give the keys to? Right. This is the dumbest, fu- like, hairline. Am I- Dummy, yeah. What the, f- what's happening, chat? What's have? what the fuck is going on? Oh, my God. So Brian's just gone, yes, Mania, WrestleMania 41 will be a yes, Mania with an induction from Dan. Like, Dave's talking like he's gone already. And Dave knows AEW because they all stooge to him. Right. It just doesn't look good. Not looking good, bud. Yeah, yeah. It just, <laughs> you, it just, we're on a time delay. We're saying the exact same thing. It just does not look good. I'm so disappointed. Hairline, you hear the exhaust coming out of me. Um, but let's move over to like WWE a bit because because Dave's going to be cynical about that. And Dave Meltzer questions. Lost Vegas convention. And visitor authority. (laughs) Hold on, guys. Hey, everyone, stop, right? The number one, one of the number one, if not the number one tourist destination in America is Las Vegas. Right, Hairline? And so Dave Meltzer questions the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. (laughs) So they're the people who track all this shit, okay? And Dave's questioning them on their WrestleMania expectation. So the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority expect 180,000 fans will come to the city to occupy 144,000 incremental room nights in hotels during the week of WrestleMania. Dave doesn't agree. With these people who, like, they had to sell this to the city that never sleeps. Sin City. I know New York's the city that never sleeps. I know. Have you ever been to Vegas, bitch? That shit don't sleep. So all I'm saying is that in Vegas, Sin City, one of the number one tourist attractions in the world hairline, this, this authority, this committee, had to like pitch this to the city and the city agreed and they're like yes yes okay let's bring wrestlemania here we'll get a hundred over a hundred thousand over a hundred and fifty thousand people new here unique 
to watch this. And then Dave goes, as soon as I saw that number, it's like, um, it's like, it's not even close. <laughs> Well, for real. <laughs> Dave knows. Dave knows. He knows better. He knows better, dude. Oh my God! Does he live? Uh, in, where's Dave live? This is hilarious, bro. So he goes. As soon as I saw that number, it's like not even close. They said, <laughs> 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 oh, guys, I get fucking. Oh my God, my wife gets mad at me. She's like, dude, shut the fuck up. I'm like, dude, Dave's just dumb. I can't help it. They said 144. <laughs> they said 144,000 individual people will be getting hotels because of WrestleMania. So Dave says that they said 144,000 individuals will get hotels. No, they didn't say that, Dave. They did not say that. They said 144,000 incremental room nights dave that means your bitch goofy media ass who probably weaseled a hotel room that pwt doesn't get that means the rock and his wife or whoever that that's what that means dave it means like do you understand dave you're he's so fucking stupid it drives me insane anyways though sorry i'm getting lost in the weeds wrestlemania and, and then dave just totally predicts i'm getting lost in the weeds here's dave saying well wrestlemania is only probably going to draw sixty thousand. <laughs> sixty thousand people for each night and most of them will be the same Let's be very nice and say some will be different, and it's 80,000. But of those 80,000, a lot of them are going to be people that live in Las Vegas. No, no, Dave, that's where you lost. That's where you lost. Nope. Right. Nope. Dave, nope. It's a Las Vegas, baby. Nope, that is not true. Um, at least fifteen to twenty thousand. He's making shit up out of his ass. Granted, not everyone goes to WrestleMania. That goes for that weekend, but most people, Dave, see Dave. Vegas works in cycles, Dave, and there's tourists who go there every single day of the week, every single day of the year. So yes, around that time, you will get worldwide traffic there. It's not expensive to fly from Vegas from almost anywhere in North America. And that there's a reason for that, Dave. And you're a fucking idiot. And they're also trying to set up a WWE residency there. Right. And you're fucking stupid. Yeah, it's like it doesn't even matter because we're talking about whole markets being established, and Dave's going, it'll be so no and then this is whole dave's thing it won't be a hundred and eighty thousand according to me and all of my bullshit it'll be a hundred and twenty thousand hairline <laughs> it won't be 180 hairline according to dave's bullshit but according to his bullshit it'll be more like 120. <laughs> What's the fucking difference? Oh my god. Dummy. No one don't. It's just so stupid. Okay, so Dave Meltzer thinks that Mercedes needs to make a change to bring it to AEW. Meltzer says Mercedes needs to make a change to her current character in order to fit into AEW. Well, Dave, before we even get into Dave's quote, Dave, I thought that the characters and the entertainment didn't matter and just the work rate did i thought it was just all about the moves dave and the pay-per-view matchups so are you dave Meltzer, admitting that the character work matters in the pro wrestling company that you say only work rate matters in yeah he's definitely stepping on his own dick here bud <laughs> It's it's redacted. So um, Dave says she has to adjust the character to the promotion. What does that mean? I'm a wrestler. We're a wrestler. We all have dreams. Wrestlers. Yay. She has to adjust the character to the promotion, the way she came out and everything like that. It's the real weird pattern, in, pattern ring entrance. 
that they do in WWE, and that absolutely does not fit in with this crowd. I don't think the CEO thing works either. It feels totally out of place in that company. It's not like WWE is bad, but it is different from nobody, and nobody else does it. I disagree. Everyone in AEW who comes from WWE, besides like Edge, does the like. I'm an elitist. I have money. Anyways, though, um, sometimes when nobody else does it, Dave says, sometimes when nobody else does it, it's actually a good thing, but this is not the case. <laughs> uh, he says, she's not doing this thing that doesn't feel right in the aid. What? I, Dave's just fucking stupid. I can't even read this shit, guys. This is even. This is just like he's illiterate and stupid. I can't even. Um. So I guess Sasha Banks sucks. Uh, your thoughts? <laughs> Dave, Dave admitting Mercedes Monet licks balls in AEW. Your thoughts? I think he's more or less just trying to say she has to adapt to the AEW style. So. Uh, at Triple H's thoughts, he bookmarked he had a whole thread going. Meltzer said what as well. But uh, they say Meltzer is beyond parody at this point. His brain clearly doesn't function properly as we have reached the point where Alvarez is forced to scream common sense at Dave and it still doesn't penetrate hairline. Here we go. Tony Storm beat Arlie Cameron. So the thing with this match was I mean, first off, like Tony Storm's back to being a babyface this week after being a heel last week. Serena Deeb's on the on the ramp watching on and smiling as Tony's getting beaten down. I think she's supposed to be a babyface, but she came off as a heel. And then it's like Tony Storm is the champion against Harley Cameron. And my God, it felt like they went forever. She's like, beat her already. It wasn't that long at all. How long was it? Beat her already. It wasn't long at all. Yeah, Dave, it was too long. I said it on the live show. Wasn't that long at all. How long was it? Let me see. Let me get my... If it's more than two minutes, it was too long. What? Oh, let me get my um, um calculator. And right, Brian says money. the right thing. If it was longer than two minutes, it was too long. Dave, Dave goes, Dave goes, what? Oh, yeah, I don't understand that. Oh, oh, spray flip. Tiger driver. Fucking Dave. I think you're trying to push Harley Cameron. They gave She's Har had one. You're trying to push Harley Cameron. No, you're not. I'm oh, good when, for that. Dave, Dave, when has anyone ever tried to push Harley Cameron? What the fuck did, like, is that what you thought was happening, dude? Her doing a job? Like, Dave just doesn't get it. He's a weirdo. He's a troglodyte. We're gonna. <laughs> I think you're trying to push Harley Cameron. They gave. Car He's Harley had Cam one match prior to this. Tony's right, the but, champion. But, They're trying to but, build Tony to a match but, on the pay-per-view in a week with somebody else. But Have Mariah Harley met, beat somebody else? Mariah met. Let's see, Tony Storm. Um, they went seven minutes. Seven that was, minutes. That I mean, that's a short match for for, for AEW television. And AEW television sucks, Dave. You need to have a two-minute match, like Brian said. Brian's my boy. Brian's welcome on PWT Podcast Live Show anytime. Amen. But I was not a big fan of this. And it was the only and it was the only women's match on the show. If they had the only women's match on the show and they went two minutes, I promise you there's gonna Dave, I promise you that no one cares. It's about what draws. And if the lady shit ain't drawn, it ain't drawn. Now we're not saying lady shit. Don't uh we put over tons of lady shit. If it don't draw, it don't goddamn draw. Don't matter if you're a lady, don't matter if you're a dude, don't matter what the fuck you're doing. If it don't draw, don't draw. Especially in 2024. If we want to speak about it being on an equal playing field, if you want to talk about it not being on an equal playing field, well then men draw more. A lot of them, on average. We can just be fucking objective about that. Hairline? Am I canceling us, or <laughs> am I am I okay? Or are we? No, you're being logical. Yeah, I'm being just legit. Okay, thank right. you for that. Let's continue. Going to be so much criticism online. The next well, day. you know what I have to say about online criticism. I would rather book for success than worry about online criticism. Yeah, I don't good... care if people are angry. 
Brian Alvarez listens to PWT confirmed. Yeah, confirmed. Three, that it was only two minutes. I would not have Tony Storm a week before a title defense on pay-per-view going seven minutes back and forth with Harley Cameron, who's had one match. Who <sighs> good in the one match? And this was a good match. It, I, I thought, I mean, Harley Cameron, for the number of matches she's had, is really good. They had a, they had a very good match. Uh, Storm. <laughs> we'll keep playing this i'm so sorry he's just so funny dude instead of doing the gimmick is showing that in fact she's wrestling seriously which did in this match and i thought it was very effective i you know the last time who's the talk, heel it doesn't matter it does it matter no, it doesn't, Dave. I have I'm seen so. Sure. Who's the heel? It doesn't matter, guys. If that's if you agree with that, and like it doesn't matter who's the heel, we just totally like I'll end this podcast tomorrow. Like we just, you know what I mean? We just totally lost the fucking plot. Yeah, like yes, it matters who's the hero and who's the villain, guys. It really fucking matters. Like matters more than any almost anything else. Effective. I, you know. The last time Who's the talk, heel? It doesn't matter. It, it does matter. matter. No, it doesn't. Dave, <laughs> I have seen so many segments with Tony Storm where there is no heat for the interview because well, nobody cares about the baby face. Guess because the came... baby face. Hairline. We're agreeing yeah. with Brian. Yeah. Uh, really listen to PWT. We got more show and we're not done. And like fucking unlike other people hairline and phil we don't phone it in it doesn't matter how drunk i am off cab sav or how fucking uh fed up with bullshit hairline is because i know he can only tolerate so much of this bullshit but we gotta do it so you guys don't have to you know what i mean and so hairline yeah basically yeah you will legit hairline i know how it is bro so bro. i know how you are bro i know you're like I would rather drop a nuke on whatever city Dave Meltzer's in and move along than fucking even talk about the shit. But we got to talk about the shit. That's what everybody's talking he's about. Kind of so, like my Joker. I mean, yeah. yeah, he's burning the stack of money, rolling down it while you're like, oh, I got to save this city. <laughs> Let me explain the psychology of light tubes because <laughs> it's there, but people don't get it yet. <laughs> hey, if, if someone told my parents in an alley, and yeah, uh, yeah, 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 if Keanu Reeves was Batman. Okay, so uh, uh, Meltzer said what? Out Meltzer said what? Shout him out. And I don't know how he does his job. Guys, because you're like, get the blue check. He doesn't have a blue check. And he's organized for like years, bitch. What am I doing wrong? I'm getting the blue check. Fuck it. But anyways, though, at Meltzer said what? Says, don't you see? Tony Storm is a world champion and real world champions fight both baby faces and heels. So it's situational. So here's Dave just. Actually, no, he has parts. So that's part three. Here's part two. We have part one. So we're just giving the sizzle to the steak, as Hairline would say. So here's part one of um, the epic Meltzer versus Alvarez argument over Tony Storm being a baby face or a heel. This is actually Cody Rhodes's fault due to planting this notion in Dave's head in 2017. And he was on the indies. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Fast forward to 2024, and Cody is the biggest white meat baby face ever. So the thing with this match was, I mean, first off, like, Tony Storm's back to being a babyface this week after being a heel last week. So we listened to the main part, but we're going to listen to it in full. Per Meltzer said what here? In full. My bad on the bookmarks, guys. <laughs> Serena Deeb's on the, on the ramp watching on and smiling as Tony's getting beaten down. I think she's supposed to be a babyface, but she came off as a heel. And then... It's like Tony Storm is the champion against Harley Cameron. And my God, it felt like they went forever. She's like, beat her already. It wasn't that long at all. How long was it? Let me see. Let me get my. If it's more than two minutes, it was too long. What? I think they're trying to push Harley Cameron. They gave. Har She's Harley had Cam one match prior to this. Tony's right, the we champion. Yeah, who's trying to push Cameron? Like, go follow her Twitter. She's fucking hot as shit. But, like, who's pushing her? Other than her own like Twitter, you know, like wh what's going on? And they're trying to build Tony to a match. But 
on the pay per view in a week with somebody else. But Have Mariah Harley met, beat somebody else. Mariah met. Let's see, Tony Storm. Um, they went seven minutes. Well, guess what? Nobody cares about the baby. Seven was, minutes. That I mean, that's a short match for for, for mm -hmm. AEW television. I was not a big fan of this. And it was the only and it was the only women's match on the show. If they had the only women's match on the show and they went two minutes, I promise you, there's going to be so much criticism online the next well day. you know what i have to say about online criticism i would rather book for success than worry about online criticism hairline are you worried about online criticism absolutely not Dave, yeah, me, me, I neither. Seen some. me neither yeah, i don't good... care if people are angry that it was only two minutes i would not have tony storm a week before a title defense on pay-per-view going seven minutes back and forth with harley cameron who's had one match who looked good in the one match, and this was a good match. It, I I thought, I mean, Harley Cameron for the number of matches she's had is really good. They had a they had a very good match. Um, Tony Storm. Uh, uh, yeah, Dave. That's what we say about people on NXT. Instead of doing the gimmick, is showing that in fact she is wrestling seriously, which she did in this match, and I thought it was very effective. I, you know, the last time. Who's the talk, heel? It doesn't matter. It, it does doesn't matter. matter. No, it doesn't matter, Hairline. Who's the heel? It doesn't. It doesn't. Dave, I have I'm, seen so many segments with Tony Storm where there is no heat for the interview because well, nobody cares about the baby face. Guess because what? the came... baby face. Here's part two. So many segments with Tony Storm where there is no heat for the interview. Because well, what? nobody cares about the baby face. Guess because what? the came... baby face. What, did you watch the segment they did last week? Uh, did you? Wait, wait, wait. Did you... Yep. Did you were you in the building when Tony Storm came out and she got cheered like crazy? This match. We did you? Were you in the building? Because I was in the building, man. When Tony Storm got cheered, man. Yeah, Dave. It's just the fact that it's like Dave. You're Dave Meltzer, and it's like you got to understand that the TV perception and the live attendance perception and then just like the in general perception, those are all different fucking perceptions on the whole event. So if he was sitting in the building, like maybe people who were who have been depraved of wrestling might enjoy this segment more than people who aren't or who get TV or whatever the fuck. I don't know. It's just it's just psychological bullshit. And then he cites, just listen, he brings up WWE. So I don't want to make it about WWE, but that's what Dave does. He makes it about WWE. She did not have no heat. This match had plenty of heat. Yeah. Harley Cameron was the heel. Harley Cameron was the heel. Tony Storm was a big time baby face. Yes, Dave. There was and nothing last wrong with week, that. She was a heel. Tony was a heel last week. So whoever and Serena cheered. was out there doing a sad story about how she almost died. And guess and what? Nobody cared. They booed her. So the so they switched the thing around to to follow the crowd. What's wrong with that? Because they didn't switch it. And she yes, will be a did. heel. She will be a heel the next time you see her. It doesn't matter as long as the crowd reacted like crazy. This is on WWE does this constantly. No, they don't. They have baby yes, faces and heels. No, they they have baby faces and heels. They, uh, and, and so does AW, and it's except and it's, with Tony. And it's, it's situational. It depends on who's wrestling who on what show. That's not I mean, they have technically. What's the faces. last show where Drew is a baby face? Drew, Drew McIntyre. That's Drew McIntyre. Okay. What about. So what are we even doing? Are we explaining this to people? Like, they just brought up Drew McIntyre. What do we even explain that Dave's a dummy? Well, 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 well it's just like okay, if Tony, if Tony and Harley are fighting, who's heel and who's face? And Dave goes, it doesn't matter. And then he goes, well, yeah, it is. Like, it's like a big part of the fucking segments. And then Dave goes, no, no, it doesn't matter. And then Brian goes, well. Like Drew McIntyre is really over. Like, is he heel or is he babyface? <laughs> it's like pretty easy to figure out, right? Like, heroes and villains, dude. It's not hard to figure out. So, I, I, fuck, I don't know, man. It's just Dave, dude. Like, he he's saying it doesn't matter who's heel and who's face. He's freaking out. He's having a meltdown. 
Maybe she's a good dummy. Tony Storm beat Arlie Cameron. What about, what about Bronson Reed and Chad Gable? When they wrestled each other. So then they bring it to WWE and they say, well, what about Bronson Reed and Chad Gable? So true, true McIntyre. That's Drew McIntyre. Okay. What about, what about Bronson Reed and Chad Gable when they wrestled each other? Who was the baby face and who was the heel? Bronson Reed and Chad Gable. Yeah. What match? They should have match last week. Chad was they should have match last week. The heel. And he is a heel. They, they, so oh. Bronson reads the baby face. Is Bronson read the baby face next? But well, why does it matter what WWE is doing? Because they don't do these tweener shits all the time. They do them sparingly and then it works. But in AEW, they do this tweener shit all the time where you don't know who's healing, who's fucking baby face, Dave. That's the point that's being made. But he shifted the goalpost and then brian alvarez shout him out for arguing back but he's so low iq that he fucking bites into dave's dumb fucking low iq argument and starts arguing with him the thing right. with this match was the, the, the baby face next week is she usually the baby face no that's what happens you have situational things and that's what you do everyone has it because you sometimes make matches where there's a different thing it's not sometimes dave Sometimes the keyword you've lured Brian off into a whole thing he wasn't even talking about, Dave. But you're a fucking kooky bitch, and that's why you were able to do this to him. Not a big deal, and it certainly wasn't here because the match was effective. The match was good, and again, Tony Storm, who has done a lot of the gimmick so heavy for so long that has not shown up, shown off her wrestling skill. And she's going to do a match with Serena Deeb where the, whatever it is. So now Dave's talking about she's going to do this match where whatever it is. He's just stooging like what they have planned out. This is why Dave's a like a sick fucking twisted fucking sick weirdo, guys. I don't just like I don't take I I don't take pleasure in this. Like you all got to understand that, man. I really don't. It's he's like a sick guy for real um so yeah he's going he's she's gonna have a match with deeb is that what we saw tonight this like over prolongated fucking overly long stupid fucking match like is that what we just saw tonight i don't know what dave's on about but ugh, it's weird not shown up shown off her wrestling skill and she's gonna do a match with serena deeb where the whatever it is they are going to go out and do a wrestling match and me and Hairline could go out and do a wrestling match in the field across the street from my house. No shit. Not yeah. my <laughs> Therefore, for if if um, Tony. St yeah, yeah, cut that shit off, Meltzer. So, so here's part. Uh, this is Tony part Storm's one. We listen to part faces. one. Uh, part we, three. Uh, four. Are we? What part Serena are we on, Hairline? And she's going to do a match with Serena. Part three. Okay, yeah, we're on a saga here. I'm going to X that. And she's going to do a match with Serena Deeb where the, whatever it is, they are going to go out and do a wrestling match. Okay. So, therefore, for if if um, Tony Storm went and did her Tony Storm gimmick and Serena Deeb on the pay-per-view, it would suck. So, they're basically showing she is going to wrestle Tony Storm. and they're So, he just said, oh, if they go do their gimmicks on the pay-per-view, it'll suck. Like, Dave buries these people while he thinks he's helping getting them over. He's a fucking asinine idiot. We're going to have a good match. So well, that is... so th We that can is discuss this after the double or is, nothing match. That is what... The, and that next is what, Wednesday. That is what they are... That is what the story is. The story is, is that she went in there and the crowd cheered her. The crowd knew who the baby face was. The crowd knew who the heel was. They cheer Tony all the time. But they, they knew cheer her every week, even when she's playing the heel role against another baby face. She should always be a baby face. Well, there's is no face. need for her to be a heel. Sh she's Sh never going to get booed. Okay, so can we what? stop killing all the other baby faces by having her be a heel okay. that everyone loves? Okay, but that's what, the what, problem. Uh, okay, no. Okay, what what is what what does what what is what does the other thing got Tony Storm? What's the other thing got Tony Storm? She is the world champion. Yes. A real world champion wrestles baby faces and heels. And in that role, depending upon the situation.
A real world champion wrestles baby faces and heels hairline. You don't got to tell me. You got to tell Dave, Doug. Well, like, is that real? Like, what the fuck is this guy even babbling about, man? Like, he's Tony Connie. What, 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 what is what, going on? What, what, he's what, trying what, to lead what, you what, away what, from him. She is the world champion. Yes. A real world champion wrestles baby faces and heels. And in that role. Or maybe they don't, Dave. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, Dave? Uh, depending upon the situation, you are situational. That's everyone from Luthes to Jack Briscoe to Dory Funk Jr. to Ric Flair to whatever. That's not what's happening here. What's happening what's is she is a heel. She's not a heel. She, she is portrayed as a heel. She was and they have her opponents. They have her opponents portrayed. This she she was not portrayed as a heel in this match. Yeah, Dave, the individual matches don't matter. In, unless the culmination of all the matches matter. I'm, I'm so great. Listen to what I just said, guys. The match doesn't matter if the culmination of the matches don't matter. Oh, my God. This is crazy to me. This is crazy talk. In this one match... She was a heel or a face or whatever he's trying to say. Yeah, but Dave, like, but then the TV show's bad and the ratings are bad. And, like, we're trying to say, hey, dude, the ratings are bad. What's up? And then he's like, well, it's not because of any of these things. People just don't get it. People just don't get it. And it's like, okay, well, Dave, we're watching. What's up? Well, she was a heel in this match, not the other match, but this match, she was a heel. Okay, Dave. <laughs> like, we, it's like, I feel literally bad. We got one more part to get through, guys. I'm so sorry if you're still tuned in. A ton of you still tuned in. So we're going to keep this going. She's not a heel. She, she is portrayed as a heel. So, Dave, so Dave melts down. She's not a heel. Dave melts down, dude. Okay, but that's what, the what, problem. Uh, okay, no. Okay, what? What is? What? What does? What? What is? What does the other thing got Tony Storm? Hairline. No. What? What does? What? 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 What does hairline? What does? Uh, no. What? The, what? What's the other thing got Tony Storm? She is the world champion. Yes, a real world champion wrestles baby faces and heels, and in that role. Depending upon the situation, you are situational. That's everyone from Luthes to Jack Briscoe to Dory Funk Jr. to Rick Flair. Oh, yeah, Tony Storm. She's like Jack Briscoe. Flair to whatever. That's not what's happening here. What's happening what's is she is a heel. She's not a heel. She, she is portrayed as a heel. She was and they have her opponents. Match. They have her she, opponents she was portrayed. Not, this she is was not the day. She is was not portrayed as exception. a heel. This is okay, an they, exception. Harley Cameron is a heel. Harley Cameron yes, is a heel. This is an exception. She was a, she was a baby face. Yes. If you watch and the show, this is when was Harley Cameron a baby face? Like fucking four months ago when no one watched Rampage and they still don't. And it was on Rampage, Dave. He just is such an obscure little bitch. And, oh, and shit. guess what? Guess what? And it is a angle that makes sense because Harley Cameron wrestled mariah may her protege and who is portrayed he, as a baby face uh, well who's baby face in that match in that situation uh, listen to these two marks so therefore she's trying to get revenge for the fact that they beat up mariah may and so in that role she is in fact the baby face so she was a baby face she got cheered she had a good match and you know <laughs> how it ends is just so unchy, you, you know you know you know it's wrestling there was nothing i can't find a thing wrong with this at all not a well thing. we'll discuss this again next wednesday for the next segment they do with tony storm and uh and uh serena deep okay because i i but, will but if predict... they go in there yes if they go if they go in the match it doesn't so if they cheer Tony Storm, cool. If they boo Tony Storm, cool. They're probably going to cheer her, but that's... Yes, they yeah. are going to cheer her. Well, fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's great. What's wrong with that? Because her opponent is being pushed as a baby face. 
and no one cares about her opponent. So some, and some, the so exact some. same thing happened with Diana. Diana okay. was supposed to be the baby face. Nobody. Yeah, and Diana just had a match on Collision tonight that nobody gave a fuck about. Cared. Okay. Well, if they go out there and go, if the fans don't care, then guess what? It would have been even worse if she was the heel, and um, and Serena was the babyface. At least in this no, case. No, that's what is happening. That's why I'm saying it needs to go the other way. Serena Deeb should be the heel. Tony should you... be the babyface. Diana you... should have been the heel. Tony Good. should have been the babyface. Tony Good. should be the babyface going forward. <laughs> Okay, uh, just their fucking their back and forth shit is just so funny man oh my god these guys it's like curly and fucking mo dude what should happen okay then tony should be the baby face if the fans sure. okay i agree, I agree. all right I agree. well we'll I see agree. what happens next week when she's the heel and serena's the baby face which is what they did last week but guess what serena serena was was not necessarily a baby face when she was out on the ramp at all she was <laughs> Hairline, she wasn't a baby face when she was out on the ramp. <laughs> but when she's in the ring, she's a heel. <laughs> what the fuck, Dave? Was it today? But she was last week when she's talking. And what is even? What is Brian even saying? She wasn't today, but last week. No, it's not. Heel isn't a thing you do day to day. It's like okay, you did some heel shit. Now, like, okay, next week, you're still, like, a fucking heel, even if you're, like, I love you. You got to, like, redeem yourself and win yourself over and, like, remind me why you're a babyface or, like, a hero. Like, it's not, like, a match to... Ma it's not, like, oh, you play heel this time and you do... That's, like, a house show thing. But AEW doesn't do house shows, you fucking marks. So that's, like, yeah, house on, like, a house show, you're in Texas and JBL's playing the heel... And fucking then he's a baby face that night or whatever, right? Like Natty Neidhart, she's a fucking heel, but then she comes to Canada, she's a baby face. Okay, that's like a night to night thing that's not on TV, you fucking idiots. That's not a like, well, on this TV show where we're trying to get all the angles over and, uh, and you know, like, uh, it's just on this show, she's a heel, but on that show, she's a face. On Dynamite, she's baby face, and on Kalissa, she's a heel. Talk about how she almost died. Guess what? And she's begging the fans to cheer, and they Brian, won't. Brian. Yes. That maybe they learned from last week. Is there a possibility they learned from last week, and that's why they did this? No, because this wouldn't happen if they learned ever, Dave. Right. Ever. E v e r. Aside from the fact that it all fits into the Dave, story, Dave. You want you want to know why I'll say no? There's not a possibility. Okay. Because three weeks ago. Tony Storm was playing the babyface role. And I was like, okay, finally they figured it out. Tony's the babyface. The very next week, they switched it again and had Serena D play babyface and talk about how she almost died, well, they begging that, fans to cheer, and nobody did. Well, guess what? So they learned. Okay, so, they learned? So Great. they learned. So Great. they learned. So they learned. We will just, we will figure it out next week. So five stars, because they learned, and there was a good match, but even though... It's all like a retrospective thing. I'm um, five stars. Wednesday when they do another segment, if okay. she's still a baby face. Well, where were we? Well, it doesn't. As, I mean, as long as the crowd look, as long as the crowd's going to react. I so Dave just ends it by saying, as long as the crowd's going to react, then it's like, why didn't you give Hulk Hogan versus The Rock five stars? Because that's right. the greatest crap. It's just like. So what are you talking about, Dave? You're a fucking dummy. Yeah. And that was Dave Meltzer's <laughs> dumb moment of the week.